right, in this episode of Dig, Plant, Grow, we are going to be planting some more fall veggies. Um, doing our seed starts for our fall. Um, we're gonna do some inside and I may have some good news with a partnership with um, someone that has a grow tunnel. So um, we'll be bringing more information about that if it pans out. So, um, but we're starting our starting some more seeds. So I, if you've watched the other videos, I have planted some. Um, this video is going to come out after October 1st, which is our first official day launch of the new YouTube channel, um, Dig, Plant, and Grow. So we wanted to have a name that could grow with us um, from just doing a container garden to as we explore to um, doing a co-op. And as we explore to doing homesteading, um, growing chickens, um, doing some more things. So it's gonna be a process, it'll be a journey. Um, looking at some land, we bought some land. I think I'm gonna build some houses on that land. Tux, come back in here. I'm gonna build houses on that land maybe. Um, so I really haven't decided yet how we're going to do that, but um, we're just being prayerful. So I knew that this was the first step. We needed to make sure we branded the site. So you guys let me know how you like the website, not the website, the logo, and um, what kind of things did you want us to bring on the channel? So let us know. We're excited about it. Um, so yeah, so let me get started. I have already done, let me show you. So I have my three trays. Um, so we have our three trays here of our ah, seed start. So we have the three trays ready for our seed starting. And what I'm gonna do is I have our stakes. Again, I'll post the link in the description below um, where you can get all the things from that I use. Um, and then I have our seeds. This is, no, these are our beets. So these are our beets. Um, I'm gonna do those. I ordered some collards and mustards. Um, I have these mustards, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant the rest of these. And for whatever reason, I kept an empty container, which does not make sense. I mean, on every level of does not make sense. So I'm scared to trash it because that's just not me. Like, why did you keep this? I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm gonna hold on to it because usually there's a reason why I do stuff like that. So, but I don't, I honestly don't know why I did it. Um, so I am going to plant those. No, I'm not planting those. I'm gonna plant the mustards. I'm gonna do the mustards. I'm definitely gonna do the beets. Um, I love juicing beets. I'm gonna do some more radishes. I'm like killing radishes. I don't know. That's like the easiest thing to plant is radishes and I'm killing it. So this is some kale. Let me make sure. No, this is radish. Here goes my lacento. Oops, I don't need it to me. So this is the lacento kale from Bella Seed Company. So I'm going to do a half a tray of these. Um, let me get you down so you can see what Mimabde is doing. Oh, it's 
too much technology and me. Come up. Go down. There we go. So, see right here, I put it in this first one. And so I'm going to do these three with kale. With, excuse me. It's different variety of kale. That's my radishes. Radishes are in that pan. This is spinach. So I'm gonna do spinach here. Tops. Tops. Hold on. Okay, sorry guys, that was weird. He goes up to my office and starts barking at my computer like it's doing something. That's weird. All right, I don't know what that was about, but okay. Um, beets, I'm gonna put over here in the other tray. I got my cabbage. Tops! Come here! Tops! All right, I'm just, I'm just gonna let him bark for a minute. That's just the weirdest thing ever, huh? If I ever. Okay, so listen to kale.
get out of my house with all this pooping. Okay, I am back. Crazy dog. Um, I didn't know what that was even about. To tell you the truth. Um, sort of have Bloomsdale spinach, and then I have the Noble spinach. So we're gonna move that over one, and we're gonna do four trays, two of each. Definitely got, I need to get those collards. Sheesh. So these are spinach seeds. They're a little bigger than the other ones. So you can see those. We're gonna do two trays of six or rather four trays of six with these. One or two in each cell. Mr. Hollis says he does two in each cell and he tries not to get them on the side. He don't like them growing up the sides. That's about the only place I ever get them is on the sides or right beside each other. I am notorious for putting them right beside each other. So we are putting these in, can y'all see? There you go. Okay. Had to make sure I saw two in each hole. This is kale.
So we get that in there. Get it going. And I'm just gonna dump those two other seeds in there versus trying to put them back in the package. So that is our Noble Giant Spinach, Urban Farmer. Now I have to remember, <coughs> my tag says Spinach Bloomsdale's, but the first two trays are actually Noble Giant. The last two trays will be Bloomsdale Spinach. So let me make sure I say that so I can see it. The last two trays here are Bloomsdale Spinach, and these two trays are our Noble Giants. So these are our big leaf spinach here, which I really like those. So, All right, so we will do some Bloomsdale's on this end here. And that's normally what I plant. Um, spinach, so I always get a lot of spinach seeds. I'm usually, um, oops, 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 oops. Ooh, I got a four or five in that little hole. And these have, what is their germination rate? Of course, it'd be one pack that doesn't say that I want to know. I want to say they're like 90 something percent because it's a bunch of them. crazy because they look like um they look like the little pellets they retain moisture and we don't know which one they are to do is water it down put my seeds up with the garlic with the beans I'm not planting the beans I don't even know why I pull off those beans out we got way more than enough beans out in the garden okay so now I got water on my table don't like doing this oh. in the house. I can't wait to have me a green room. Cause your girl hates it. Okay, so beets are going on this last tray. Oh yeah, you can see me good on that. Okay, so we got our beets. They're going on this last tray over here. Something in my eye. Something in my eye. I'm not doing any more corn. We got enough corn growing outside in the yard. I'm gonna do my beets and my mustards are gonna go here. I think 12 heads of mustard will be enough. I really, this one is still damp. I really, oh, it was, that was sitting on top of this. That's why. Um, I really want, what did I do with my mustards? So let's see, oh, here goes my mustard seeds. That's in that canister. So let's, all right, Jesus, multiply these. In your name, let's see. Let's 
September, I can plant. It's my last month to plant it. Whew. All right, Lord. Okay, I'm going to do two of these in each because I really need these to germinate. And then we'll go back and um, take the weakest one out. Thin them out. That's the word I'm looking for. Thin them out. Ooh, Kimberly, you good. We'll do three on that one. All right, so they are all in there. Oops. Oh, no, no, flew out. Okay, so those are all there. I need to have my gloves on, and I know it's on this table somewhere. Hard headed. Okay, so that's that. Beets are over here, and I probably got ten different variety of beets. I don't know what I was. I was on a beet fiasco or something. Perfected Detroit dark reds. Hybrid harriers. Hybrid Harriers, Detroit Dark Reds, Detroit Dark Reds, and this is a gourmet blend. Ooh, let's try the blends. That sounds exciting. Lisa does to me. So we can plant beets all the way up to the end of October in my area. Hey, zone 8A, let's go, let's go, let's go. So we should be having great success with these, all right, Jesus? We are going to put these in the ground, expecting our harvest. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, these big seeds, too. I forget how big uh, beet seeds are. Now, I'm doing only one of these per thing. And we are doing... No. We're gonna do one per thing, and these seeds are big, so we can't mess this up. Get in the middle. Baby, in the mountain, in the middle. I'm losing my mind just a little. Go down. Oops. Gotta go in the center. Mr. Hollis said we can't plant it on the side. Plant it in the middle. So we gonna plant it in the middle. Those look small. All right, Jesus, I need you to get in there with them small ones. They look like they might struggle a little bit. And I don't want them to struggle. No struggle. Y'all will grow up big and strong and feed our family. Amen.
There we go. Hot dog. So we got all our beets planted. And we did 12 mustard. So we got two more rows for something else. Let's see, what else can we fit in here? We're not gonna plant no more beets. I did the variety pack of the beets, so we'll see how those grow. Oops. See how those grow. I need to put those back in its case. What were these? These were radishes. Um, I think I'm gonna do a separate tray of radishes. I have a bunch of variety kind. So we'll do a We'll do that tray there of radishes. So let's do our, pak choy cabbage. We'll do those. Now these are, all these I'll be transplanting into grow bags once they reach the, um, you know, they harden off and they reach their size, then they'll be going into grow bags. And some I'm doing in one gallon grow bags and some I am doing in five gallon grow bags. So the cabbage, Chinese cabbage, I'm doing these in the five gallon grow bags. Actually, it'll probably be three gallon grow bags. Cause I saw um, Mr. Hollis, Nancy and Hollis, I saw them do them in the five gallon grow bags but he didn't fill them up with dirt. So I'm like, hmm. I'm pretty sure somebody, some some company gave him all those five gallon buckets. I don't have them and or do I have the resources to go and buy up a bunch of buckets? Um, so these, we really want just one in each thing. Some of them I'm putting two in there. If it doesn't make it, then you know I'll uh, I'll um, thin them out. Y'all know what I mean. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so then I got this one right here on this side. So this is the Chinese cabbage. Yeah, SCGC, so that's that. So put that up, those are herbs. That's radish, fennel, Napa cabbage. Let's do the flat Dutch. Okay, so this cabbage is the late flat Dutch cabbage, late flat Dutch. And we're gonna put it right there. And we're gonna do one row of 12 of those. Oh, bless him, Jesus. Yes, Lord, because I don't know. Remember all um, of the fall 2020 garden is experimental. So we are experimenting on everything. Oop, I dropped two in that one. Here, you come over here, there we go. Okay, and let's get just a few more. One, two. Come on.
we're gonna thin those out so there's a couple of extra in some of these we'll thin the ones out that we don't need what doesn't come up well no all of them coming up so we'll just thin the one out that we don't need because they all coming up they all coming up i feel like something is biting me like all the time sheesh All right, so that is tray two down. I'm gonna go ahead and water this first. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and record the rest of this so y'all can see me do these and I be held accountable, right? But Kimberly, you gotta remember to water that first tray. Okay, and then this tray. Whew. Thought I almost lost y'all just now. I'd have been so hurt. Okay, so this is going to be our That's my urban farmer spinach. Oh, these are all my cabbages. I'm going to do this last row of the Napa napa cabbage tomorrow seeds because i really want to see how these grow and then i'll do the rest of this tray in radishes because i'm really determined just to grow radishes i've probably wasted two packs of seeds trying to grow radishes and actually you know what i am not putting radishes in here because i need topsoil for radishes that's what it was Hmm, so I am going to, oh, thank you, Lord. I'm so glad I remember that. Let me see what else we got. We got so many seeds. Oh, so, so, so many seeds. I know radishes will grow in here, but they don't seem to grow as well as Hollis and Nancy's on do in topsoil. So he's like, I use topsoil for mine. That's probably what's wrong with mine. That I don't use topsoil. I use my my starter mix that I make. Okay, I think I might do let's move these back over here. Now that I remember of the radishes, we're gonna put these back in here and we will come back to radishes. I will pick up topsoil. Um, let me see. When do these have to be planted by for my area? Oh, I have October, November. Okay. So I'll pick up a bag of topsoil after my birthday. Um, so let me move this out the way. And I'll let you all see me on these so this is one seed box I have two seed boxes two more seed boxes but oh my god I have so many seeds y'all it's redonkulous um so I'm trying to think all of these seeds in here I've never grown so that's what this this is all about well, we could do turnips Yep, we could do turnips for the fall. Here goes some more turnips. What's this? Purple white top? This purple white top. Cold Robbie. We wait a minute. I think I did turnips already. I did. I have turnips already. Yeah, I planted these already. Okay. So that's the premier kale. 
I think I did the premier kale. I did the rosemary, I did broccoli, I did those cabbages, I've done corn, beans, more corn. Y'all, um, when the summer comes back around, I'm doing like six trays of tomatoes. It's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be crazy, cray cray. Cray, 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 cray. Hopefully we'll have the land cleared out, at least part of it cleared out where I can at least stake them out there and maybe put a, um... ooh, if somebody wants to donate me a fence. What's those fences called that you can put your stuff around? Cause I know there are deers out there. Sweet pepper, microgreen, salad bowl mix. That's what I wanted to get to was the salads. Let's plant some salads. Now, boy, I need to do like three trays of salad because when it grows, I eat it all. Like, I can't blame that on nobody else in my family. Asian greens, here they go. I can't blame it on nobody else because honey and Swiss chard. There we go. There we go. Hey, hey, there we go. There we go. What, what? Okay, that's okra. This is heirloom garden seeds. Oh, I think I did these already. Oh no. oh no, no I didn't. What are these? Oh, this is thyme. Hot peppers. Short day onions. I gotta do research on onions. I think I'm gonna do a research video on onions because I'm not really hip to onions, but I got tons of onion seeds. Um, I love onions, but I'm just not hip to growing them. Like, I've never grown other than green onions. Oh, this is dill. Oh, I got some more dill over here, too. But I planted some outside already. Fennel and dill. Um, basil. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I got so much basil. Basil, cinnamon. A oh, winter squash. Have you ever... Oh, we'll try some winter squash. No clue if it'll grow, but it says winter. This is cucumber, lemon, lemon cucumber. We'll wait till summer for that. Winter time. Okay. So we'll get some of these. I'm sure I researched something on them already, but I don't know. Child, I don't know. Don't get me to line. Okay, so let's make us up some tags. Oops, oops, oops. Really? Okay, so we're gonna do Swiss chard, salad bowl mix. And that is Bella Seed. And I'm putting them in there by the um, company because I don't know. You know, I don't know who. We've never grown any of these Asian greens. This mild and sweet green is tender yet can withstand frost. Rich in vitamin A and ascorbic acid resistant to heat. Height is 12 inches. Harvest every 30 days. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Ooh, can't wait. Okay, we'll do one row of each. So we do salad bowl mix, salad bowl mix, Asian greens, winter squash. Okay, then I lie. We'll do two bowls of the sal two rows of the salad bowl mix, one row of the Asian greens, one row of the winter squash, winter squash. Squash, and that is by who? Oh, S C S G S C S G C, my baby. That one, and then Urban Farmers Swiss Chard. Now, I love me some Swiss Chard. Now, I grew some. Swiss chard last year from Gurney's. I've never grown 
urban farmers. Hold on, let me pick this up. I hate sliding it on my table. I don't want to do that. Okay. So, Swiss chard. Can you see these? All right. So, we got Swiss chard. And we got, um, we're going to do our winter squash. Oh, Lord. Do I need to do 12 rows of winter squash? I don't want to do 12 of these, y'all. I'm just gonna try six of them and we'll find something else to plant right here, okay? I don't wanna do 12 of these. Four, give me one more, give me one more, baby. There you go, there you go, there, there, there you go. So I'm just gonna do, here we go, just gonna do that. And Asian greens, that's these here. Ooh, it's 150 seeds. I'm gonna put two in each hole, which I know I could probably put more. What did I say? Height is 12 inches, so that's a foot long. Then to stand six inches apart when ceilings are one to two inches high. Okay, so yeah, we'll do Oh, y'all lie to me. That is not 150 seeds. This pack say 150 seeds. Who is this? This is Burpee. 150 seeds. I promise you. Oh, no. This is not 150 seeds. Burpee. Now, why y'all gonna do your girl like that? All right, so I need to call Burpee because there's definitely not 150 seeds in here. That's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Y'all saw me. I just opened that pack. Bella seeds. Salad bowl. We're going to do these two rows because what I do know is that I will eat a salad, okay? Eat it up. And this is the mix. So once it grows, I'm gonna let it go to see. Oh yes, it even looks good as a seed. Oh yeah, that looks like 500 seeds. Ooh, there are tons of seeds in here. These I'm just broadcasting. Cause let me tell you, if I don't do it, they gonna do it themselves. I got so much lettuce growing in my yard. 
that's just growing around. I'm like, uh, I wasn't planting in the ground. Excuse me, seeds. And it's lettuce. Make sure I got some over here. I gotta call my mama. She loves hearing about my gardening stories and my canning stories. It excites her. She's glad somebody else in the family is doing it. All right, <clears throat> so that is our Bella Seeds. Y'all getting excited with me? I know this video is a little longer, but I was determined to make it and record it. So y'all hang with me, hang with me. It's the launch of the new channel. I promise you all the videos won't be this long. This is our Swiss chard. We're gonna put two in each hole. These are much bigger. So it's so much easier to plant them. They kind of plant like spinach, they're big. All right, Jesus, we need you to multiply these. You stay over there and you go over there. Thank you. One over there, one over there. Thank you. Okay. We're going to put the extra back. And we got room for something right here, six or something. We're gonna put some more salad bowl there. How about that? We'll put some more salad bowl right here behind the winter squash is a salad bowl mix by Bella C. So these six right here is salad bowl mix by Bella C. So if I have to come back and be reminded what I planted there. And actually, you know what? I'm not gonna have to come back and be reminded because I am going to make a tag. Thank you, Lord. I am. I'm gonna make a tag. Because I already know going by memory doesn't work for me. I forgot to push these down. Glad that flew over there. Did I, push, I didn't push y'all down either. Look at you, Kimberly. You forgetful giant, you. Okay. Gotta put these in. In there. In there. In there. In there. In there. In there. Cover them up. Cover them up. Let 
let's make us a tag. This is going to be salad bowl, salad bowl mix. And that's by Bella Seeds, number two. Because we got one over here, and then we got this one. So, yes, honey, yes. We are all set. Can y'all see them? All set. All right, guys. So we have planted all of our goodies for, well, not all of them. Um, my collard should be coming in. So I'm going to do a whole tray of collards, an entire tray of collards. Um, and then we're going to have... Um, no, we're just going to watch these grow over the next couple weeks. We're going to watch how they grow, how they mature, harvest them, and find out how they taste. So thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you so much for just being friendly. It's amazing. The, the community is awesome. Um, let me know again how you like the new logo, how you like the new name. Um, and share it with us. If you don't mind, please share with your family and friends. Share this video. Um, I would love, love, love to um, get this up for this month of October. I'm excited about the month. It's my birthday month. So um, happy birthday to me. And we will talk to you later. Remember, if there's anything that I can do to help you be successful, don't hesitate to reach out. Okay, guys, I love you much. Bye, guys.